Mitraya Namaha. Today we are going to discuss something very very interesting and I hope you all will like it. And uh, this this topic is about four chemicals that will run your life. Okay. So let's see what are those chemicals and how do we uh, generate them in our body so that uh, they, they you know they form the basis for our spiritual journey. At the same time, you will understand the chemicals and manipulate them so that you will have a, a wholesome life and a good life uh, overall. So there are four chemicals which run you which uh, which are important there are so many other chemicals but generally we consider these four as important chemicals right first is your dopamine dopamine is a kind of chemical that keeps you in the lower chakras so dopamine is like immediate now the pleasure particle that immediate sense is given by dopamine so this chemical gets produced whenever you have that immediate pleasure of uh, um, you know immediate surge of pleasure or you, you want pleasure right so the dopamine is based on you know immediate gratification instant gratification you want it right now you want the dopamine surge otherwise you get bored you get uh, disturbed distracted you want that you want that you want that that kind of feeling and that's in the lower chakras the muladhara and the swadhisthana chakras uh, generally work on this principle that is immediate this is all tamasic they are based on repetition remember this tamasic form is based on repetition the more you indulge the more you want it the more alcohol you drink the more alcohol you want to satiate yourself the more uh, uh, you are getting addicted to things the more you want to you know subside or uh, reach to that threshold level so this is all dopamine related this chemical called dopamine is constantly released in your brain and gives that pleasure and next time when you want to release that amount of uh, dopamine you need to do lot of it to gain that amount of dopamine in your brain so this is all uh, almost it is given in Kathopanishad also but in general dopamine the pleasure principle is for the lower grade chakras the muladhara swadhisthana they all work under this uh, uh, you know that immediate gratification principles so if at all you are so you are having more of it and you are unable to produce that level of dopamine in your body then you feel bored you feel weakness you feel tired you don't want to do anything you are just sitting in your uh, you know sofas couch and you are not moving at all so this is all the first that is tamasic form of uh, uh, you know that tamasic form of your life and dopamine can be actually used as an um, you know a, a, a to give you a gift when you accomplish something so you can use this dopamine suppose you want to have a chocolate you can um, you can think that i'll finish this uh, topic or i'll read this or i will accomplish the target and then have the chocolate or you want to um, you know you want to uh, do something pleasurable you have to put a target and then do it so that your dopamine levels are balanced and you know how to control your dopamine levels if dopamine starts taking up on you then you will not be able to come out of it because dopamine wants more and more now and now it wants now and it wants more so this is the first tamasic form it can be uh, it can be like this people who are in tamasic can use this dopamine to do anything to so they want the dopamine level and they can even murder rape just for that surge of dopamine the next form of chemical that dictates our life is norepinephrine and cortisol these two are very very important chemicals they represent a rajasic form of life and you know what happens in this there are two paths you take one is become courageous you want to achieve something in life you have uh, realistic goals you want to achieve that and you take this in a positive format and suppose if you are not using these chemicals norepinephrine cort cortisol in a positive format you become discouraged you keep uh, telling stories you keep giving excuses you think entire society is against you entire world is against you you don't want to take any challenge in life you don't want to take chance you will give constantly give reasonings all rajasic form and rajasic if you are using norepinephrine and cortisol in a positive sense you become um, you know you have goals you have aims you want to achieve them you want to be successful in that format you will do something for the society also in the same way and 
if you are not using it properly the rajasik will eat you away and you stay uh, inert you will be always frustrated you have your own philosophies and you are stuck in that philosophy you say you want to do business but there is no uh, investor you want to do job but there are no jobs you keep crying in job there are politics all this happens because of the chemicals they will almost lead you to rajasik form but if you are not using it properly you become frustrated so this is the second type of chemical which will dictate our life norepinephrine cortisol kind of life the third the third very very important uh, chemical which will uh, help you in a proper life is called oxytocin it's a love hormone whenever there is a, a lady with a child or pregnant lady or a ch or a newborn child they develop that oxytocin hormone which creates a bond between the child and the mother and similarly oxytocin is constantly produced when you have real love towards anyone the motherly love the fatherly love you have you are constantly generating that oxytocin the love hormone and this love hormone has got slight weakness that you expect sometimes you expect uh, that you are because you are good you expect people also to be good with you and you may get dejected in that way this is a very good form of uh, life the satvika form of life the oxytocin uh, form of chemical which is very very useful for you you can constantly generate it by developing love towards everyone everything around and if you are constantly producing this hormone in your body the oxytocin you will really love your circumstances you will really love people around you you will be more blissful more happier the other fourth chemical which is very very important and uh, um, that is uh, that is a prime goal for initial sadhak the gaba okay the gaba particle this chemical is produced and this is a form of pure bliss and happiness this is produced at a turiya level where um, in our scripture somewhere it relates to amrutam you know people say you you need to drink amrutam to to be happy all gods and goddesses have amrutam that is amrutam which is produced in our body that is a state of pure and absolute bliss right at the pleasure level that is at the a uh, basic dopamine level there is a tinge of that pleasure there is a tinge of that pleasure that is 0.01% of that amrutam which is produced at the turiya state but before that uh, you know sense organs will deviate you and take you towards dopamine uh, pathway do not get into that dopamine pathway slowly rise towards that ga gaba um, gaba pathway so that that gaba particle if it gets produced in your uh, body that's it you are vibrating equal to your panchabhutas entire universe you will be vibrating and you will see the happiest thing and you will see that is the most pleasurable thing you have never experienced and in front of that pleasure no pleasure can even match even come near to it so that pleasure gaba whenever there's a god particle there are different particles god particles dhts 5hts uh, um, you know Uh, butyric acids uh, um, there are different uh, um, gamma si acetyl butyric acid all all these chemicals are produced there are big list of it actually um, there are different names have been given to it but for us there is one chemical that is produced by constant sadhana where you miss that escape velocity of this gravitation of uh, the sense organs once you cross that you become when you are in the turiya state you experience that amrutam in you so uh, try to become that and try to experience that uh, gaba particle so these four chemicals dictate your life first is your uh, dopamine which is a very uh, very low level of living but people live with a uh, dopamine release they want immediate sweet immediate uh, pleasure immediate immediate that is all dopamine which is do not get into that you will be uh, always in this chakram of life so do not get it that the second is norepinephrine or cortisol rajasic form which is essential for accomplishing your life goals the third is oxytocin love hormone you can love everything and anything around it that's a beautiful hormone and then the fourth chemical that is produced in the body is the gaba and other god particles where that's the pleasure you 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 are waiting to uh, taste in this spiritual journey so i leave you with that uh, tinge or that bait of uh, gaba so 
try doing your sadhanas regularly and uh, if you are constantly in that uh, uh, you know mode of spiritual journey you will one day definitely achieve that amritam in your uh, body and once that amritam is released you all are um, you are now vibrating equal to the universe so once you vibrate equal to the universe you are everything you are here and you are there you are this and you are that you are not this you are not that and uh, you are the pure consciousness okay hope this gives you some insight into the chemicals which are produced in your body the essential chemicals there are so many chemicals produced but the essential what we are concerned about so uh, hope you like this and i'll see you in the next video mitraya namaha